the ESI eSIP eFone X. The ESI eFone X for the eSIP server has 106 total buttons. There are 10 buttons on the main screen and a sidecar with three screens of 32 buttons each. You can navigate to the three screens by pressing the one, two, or three button at the bottom of the sidecar. This can be done while the phone is idle or while you're on a call. The navigation keys are used to move your cursor and select options within the display. The center button labeled OK is the select button. The back arrow on the top right of the navigation buttons is a return button. The phone has a screen saver that will activate as soon as you press a button or lift the handset. The fixed buttons are hold, transfer, contacts voicemail, headset redial, speaker, a mute button, and volume controls. When your phone is idle, the screen will show the date and time and your extension number on the top left. To set up your voicemail, press the voicemail button. Initially, your password will be the same as your extension number. Let your system administrator know if you need the password reset. When you first set up your voicemail, you will hear a tutorial that will prompt you to record your name, record a greeting, and set a, pass a personal password. If you don't hear the tutorial, you can press zero for mailbox options to change any of those items. At the bottom of the display, you will see missed calls, and voicemail current status. When you have stepped away from your desk and missed a call, the screen will tell you if you have any missed calls. And if you press OK, you'll see the call log. You will also see the number of missed voicemails. If you press OK, then it will call voicemail for you. You'll be prompted to enter your password and you can press one to listen to your messages. Also on your idle screen, you can see a number next to the voicemail to tell you how many new voicemails you have. The soft keys under the screen show different options depending on what you are doing at the time. When your phone is idle, you'll see call log, contacts, d, &D for do not disturb and menu. If you press call log, you can use the navigation keys to see all calls, inbound, outbound and missed calls. Press the return button or back button to return to the previous screen. If you press contacts, you'll see your internal contacts. d, &D is a toggle. If you press it, you'll notice that the d, &D icon on your home screen will turn red and all calls to your direct extension or direct number will go straight to voicemail. Press again to deactivate. Pressing menu will show the menu options. If you select menu, and then scroll to basic, you can program screen settings, ring settings, voice volume, and other options. Programming buttons. The blank keys are programmable and can be programmed for a feature extensions and speed dial numbers. As a reminder, the page jump buttons on the bottom of the sidecar will take you to the other screens of buttons. The most common button programming is for other extensions. These are used for one touch calling to that phone, one touch transfer, one touch pickup and to see the phone status. To program a button for a person's phone, press and hold that button. Use the navigation key to scroll down to type and then use the right, scroll to the right until you see memory key. Scroll down to line and to the right to step one. Scroll down to subtype and to the right you can choose AX for, for attended transfer or BX for if you would like to do a blind transfer with no announce. This is a personal preference. Scroll down to name and enter the name using the dial pad. You can use the button on, on the soft keys with the lettering to choose what type of lettering you wanna use. For example, there's one for all caps, and then there's one for numbers and there's one for lowercase. I'm typing in my letters here.
then scroll down to telephone and enter the extension number. And then if you scroll down one more time to pick up, you can do star zero four and the extension number. This will allow you to do a one touch pickup of a ringing call at that extension. Press okay to save changes and exit. You'll see config okay on the display. When you have buttons for other extensions, they will be green when that extension is idle or they will turn red if it is in use or flashing red if that extension is ringing. Making and receiving calls. Your redial button will dial the last number that you called. In this case, it was voicemail. <laughs> your speaker button will activate the phone for a call when pressed. You can also simply just start dialing to use speaker or you can pick up the handset and start dialing. If you call, make a call on speaker, you can navigate to the handset by picking up the handset and then go back to speaker by pressing the speaker button. You can mute yourself by pressing the mute button and the mute will work on both speaker and handset. Press the mute button again to deactivate. Use the volume controls to adjust the volume on the handset when you are using handset and you'll see the volume on the screen. If you're in speaker mode, use the volume control to adjust the speaker volume. And if your phone is idle, you can use the volume controls to adjust the ring volume. When your phone is ringing, your soft keys will show answer, forward, or reject. To answer the call, press answer. You can press the speaker button, pick up the handset. If you press forward, you can press another extensions button or type in another extension number to divert the call. And if you press reject, the call will go straight to your voicemail. If you do nothing, the call will automatically go to your voicemail after a specified time. When you're on a call, the phone will show the incoming caller's caller ID and the various states of call. The soft keys will show hold, transfer, conference, and end. If you place a call on hold, you can press resume to return to the call, or you can press hold to return to the call which is right here. You can also use the navigation buttons to scroll to multiple calls received on your phone. As you can see, I'm receiving a second call. So I can place my first call on hold and then I can scroll and answer the second call. I can then press that call on hold and use my navigation buttons to return to the first call and resume. And then I can hang up on the first call and then the second call is on my screen. To transfer to another extension, you can press the X for button and dial the extension or press that person's quick dial button. Oops, try this again. Um, I set this up for blind transfer, so the call went straight through. If you make a transfer and you wanna cancel it, you can press end, to return to the caller without transferring the call. To make a three-way call, have your first caller on the phone. Press conference and dial the second party. Wait for that person to answer. And when they answer, you can press conference to put both parties on the call with you. You can press split and use the navigation buttons to return to just one of those parties. Or if you hang up when on a conference call, the two outside parties will stay together.
call park places a call on hold and allows it to be picked up by any phone on the system. To park a call, when on a call, press the park button. You will hear the park location. Notify the person for whom the call is parked what, that the call is parked for them at what location. Anyone can retrieve the call by dialing the park number and then zero and then pound. This concludes the ESI ESIP ePhone X phone tutorial presentation by Preferred Data Voice Networks. We hope you enjoy your phone. Please contact us if you have any questions about the phone functionality or use. You can contact us at 225-924-2700 or visit our website at pdvn.net. That's P like preferred. D like data, V like voice, N like networks.net. Thank you and enjoy the rest of your day.